everyone. This video is from a comment that one of you left and um, asking, are there stages of twin flame union? And the answer is yes. So here are the real stages of harmonious twin flame union. So um, I want to point out that before um, we go into these, there are four stages. Um, I want to point out that there is nothing um, of like a wave of twin flames. There's no different kinds of waves. What's happening across the planet is that there's appears to be like a wave of people waking up to their twin flame journey. More and more people are becoming aware. Paris Hilton even, um, you know, married her twin flame and said that this is her twin flame um, and then got married to him on 11-11. Very cool. Very cool stuff. So more and more people are learning about twin flames and it's like a wave sweeping the globe. It's just um, there's not multiple waves and you know this because um, you can look at what's actually happening in reality, in your experience. So let's talk about the stages of um, twin flame union, of harmonious twin flame union. The first stage is the decision. Deciding to be with your twin flame. Once you decide to be with your one true love, they are at the very same time deciding to be with you. And that is because you share one overarching consciousness, one soul blueprint. So this is a great stage um, because it's very important. Nothing happens before the decision. There's nothing that is, is happening beyond your decision to be with your twin flame. Once you decide to be with them, um, you may notice, and this may be where you're at right now, of like all these obstacles are coming up for you to heal, to prepare you to be with your twin flame here on earth. Um, for example, like um, you may have like your check is late at the restaurant or you're in a traffic jam or your parent or sister or something is being not nice to you, your boss, colleague being not, not nice to you. Um, maybe your job is shifting. There's like kind of like an upheaval process that once you decide to be with your one true love, everything that's out of alignment with that choice um, starts to shake or rattle out of your consciousness and don't worry, it's not harmful. You may be uncomfortable, but this doesn't have to mean that, um, you know, something bad is happening to you. It's not. You don't want the stuff that's not for you in your vibration. So just carry forth. Um, if anything upsets you during this process, just use the tool um, that I learned from my teachers, Jeff and Shalia, called the mirror exercise. And that is what I use in my coaching for Twin Flames. So if you'd like personal coaching or group coaching, I've got that available. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Let's move to the second stage. So once you've decided to meet your twin flame, everything kind of transpires um, to align you to that process. Um, uh, many of you have already made the decision in your heart, whether you know it or not. And maybe you're in the second stage now, which is meeting. The meeting is a stage, right? Some of you might think, well, how can it be a stage if all I'm doing is like waving and hi, nice to meet you. Mm, it's not quite as simple as that. That's included, you know, like physically meeting your twin flame and oh yeah, that person is interesting there. But um, you're getting to know your twin flame on all levels. That's the meeting stage, What that's what it means. So um, you may have met your twin flame like you do any other person or soulmate, right? They're, they're not your soulmate, but you know, a soulmate meeting is, Hey, you look cute. You look cute. Let's get together. Let's go out to dinner. Maybe we'll hop in bed together. Um, perhaps we'll, you know, pop out a couple kids, get a white picket fence, you know, that sort of thing. That's soulmate behavior. Um, you may meet your twin flame this way or parts of you, you know, dating or whatever. Um, but there's so much more to your union. This is your eternal partner throughout all of time. And you're designed to spend your life with them in every lifetime that you um, come into earth, right? So you may meet them physically. You may meet them at an emotional level, get to know them, get to know who they really are. And the way that this works, how you get to know them on a deep level, on every level, is you've got to get to know yourself on every level. Your twin flame is your most important um, kind of spiritual tool or teacher to show you yourself, to help you get to know yourself on every level. So that actually brings us to the third stage, which is the upset stage. 
the upset stage can maybe last the longest out of all of the stages of harmonious twin flame union. And that is because what you're doing during the upset stage is your twin flame being your perfect divine mirror and complement is going to be mirroring things to you. It's called the mirroring effect of twin flames. They're, they're going to show you, you the, the best, the most clear out of anyone else in the world. And of course, the whole world is going to reflect things for you to heal. Just as I mentioned in the decision um, stage, you've got like things coming at you like traffic jams and, you know, grumpy people, but your twin flame is going to so, so-called trigger you the most um, out of all of this because uh, they're showing you what you need to heal inside. So that's not a bad thing. And you can, again, use the mirror exercise. Make sure you're using um, the one described in this book um, and not a bootleg version. So here's the book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. Uh, because I've, I've heard some bootleg versions and they don't, I'm like, that's not going to help because <laughs> it's not quite um, what it is, what, what the mirror exercise is. And I can help you with that um, to get clear on how to actually use the mirror exercise to heal what comes up. As you heal, every upset that arises with your twin flame, um, you're going to come into deeper harmony within healing involves feeling your feelings and loving yourself. And that's what the mirror exercise does very precisely and specifically every single place in your consciousness. Um, you don't want to just feel bad and escape through numbing out or playing games or whatever, whatever you do. Um, you don't also want to give up. You don't want to look at what your twin flame is doing and be like, that hurts. I'm going to have a boundary with them. I'm blocking them. No, like that's not going to heal you. That is pausing your journey. You will not move through to the next stage unless you begin to heal all of your upsets with your twin flame. And yes, anything that you're feeling that's out of alignment with love is called an upset. Don't be afraid of upsets. They're not there to hurt you. They're actually there to love you. So I think of them um, as simply as like, hey, if I had like a black spot on my face, like a piece of mascara here or something, I'd want to know and I'd have to look in the mirror to see or someone would have to share with me, oh, you've got something on your face, you know, R rub it or something. So the mirror exercise is kind of like that. It's like you've, you're holding on to this belief in non-love about yourself. So for example, if you don't feel that you're worthy of love, your twin flame will reflect that to you for healing. And so... Um, you you can um, see clearly as your twin flame continues to mirror things to you in the upset stage. So um, you're going to be working through your challenges together side by side. And when your twin flame is with you, it's going to actually propel you into deeper love. It's great. Don't be afraid of your twin flame. If you're afraid of your twin flame, I'll help you with that. I was once afraid of my twin flame and I think he was of me too. Um, but we're now in a, in a position where we can heal side by side under the same roof. So um, the, the final stage of Harmonious and Flame Union is unconditional love. This is um, where you experience divine love in the places that you healed. It's like the fruit of your labor, the fruit of all of your work with the mirror exercise. And um, if you would like more fruits, more unconditional love, more joy, then don't avoid your upsets. Keep working through them. I promise you're going to receive bountiful fruits, bountiful harvest in the unconditional love stage. Now, all these stages are not linear. They're sequential, but they're not linear. So certain parts of you can be in the um, meeting stage and parts of you may be in unconditional love already. And then other parts of you may be in upset. So for example, like... Um, you're getting to know your twin flame's creativity and your own too, because you're one union, right? But uh, you just saw a picture of your twin flame with his or her wife or husband on Instagram. Like, ah, like what if your twin flame is married to someone else right now in this moment? It's not going to be forever. You just saw a picture of that and it triggered you, right? You, wow, they produce great music and I realized I'm creative too. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. I, I feel so unworthy here. 
That's what you need to heal, that unworthiness. They're just simply reflecting that to you. You heal it, and it's, you know you don't snap your fingers and heal it. You commit to doing the work, the inner work, to heal what doesn't feel good. Give yourself love where you don't feel good, and then your twin flame will heal as one with you. They always You always make the same core choices. So if you're choosing to be with yourself and value yourself, your twin flame's also choosing that at the same time to value you, right? Um, and then some parts of you are in unconditional love. Like you might feel unconditional love and respect for yourself and your twin flame um, as you heal. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. As I mentioned, I'm going to give you some next steps. Um, so you can click away from this, but it's not a good idea because um, you you maybe you're tired of, of swimming around YouTube and listening to videos and maybe you don't feel like you're getting anywhere and it's frustrating you. And I want to invite you to take another step. Um, if you want to, I'll give you some options. So if you want to take just a little baby step, I want to invite you to my Twin Flame workshop on Saturday, the 8th of January, 2022. It's a divine wealth workshop for Twin Flames because you cannot be in harmonious Twin Flame union living in a shoebox, right? You you must um, support yourself and your union. You need a lot of support. That's one thing we're going to be talking about. But I'm going to show you that your wealth, um, if you're experiencing lack of any sort, whether it's not being able to make bills or just feeling like you're living paycheck to paycheck, um, I'm going to show you that the, what the real reason is that you're experiencing that and how to heal it. My workshop's only $20.22 that's that's like nothing. Everybody has that somewhere. Go look in your couch, right? The reason that I that I have this price and, and not free is because it's kind of a symbolic gesture to the universe that you're ready to heal your lack consciousness and you're ready to um, kind of prepare the way for your twin flame vibrationally. No matter what you think, let go of these outdated gender roles like oh the the man should earn the money. Mm, it's in your union your financial vibration is going to be reflected like it's your one so don't think that your twin flame is supposed to be the one making the money it's it's all of your union so let's get clear on saturday i really want you to come that's a baby step if you want to go deeper if you're ready to like fast track your union there's two things to do join twin flame ascension school and receive coaching and i'd love to be your coach if you like my videos um, sign up for an introductory session. I've got them on sale right now. So try 30 minutes with me. I will walk you through the mirror exercise. You're going to feel great after the session and you're going to experience success and see how powerful you actually are to heal your union. So thank you for watching this video. Comment under this video. I want to know what questions you have. I want to know what topics you like to hear about on my channel. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.